World champion of what? World champion of what? I can chop a world lead, I don't even like running You gotta run fast just to go and get some money I'm no alive, K, you know how I'm coming I ain't going to no Olympics, I ain't running, I ain't chopping I can make a hundred thousand at the crib being funny Every time Noah Lyles does something, it just makes track seem like a clown joke-ass sport, which it is, but he just magnifies that. So we see him race speed, and they was neck and neck until damn near the end when Noah finally cleared, bro, and starts celebrating the last five steps of the race. But even with speed being that close, he was at a press conference, and he came out and said, I'm running the 100 at the 2028 Olympics because clearly if this the fastest motherfucker in the world, this the fastest shit the world has to offer. And I'm neck and neck with his ass. And I ain't even training. and He been training his whole life. Like as soon as the race started, it should be instant separation. But the fact that there wasn't, I could probably go win the Olympics in 100 if bro did it and he's been training and I haven't. Which is not a reality, honestly, but you really never know. Bro could actually show up and make the Olympic team. But that's the type of hope no allows give folks. And just make track just seem like a joke ass sport every opportunity he gets. This motherfucker said when speed and no race, bro, it was 50 meter race. Y'all doing too much. Of course, there ain't going to be that big of a gap. Am I deaf, dumb or living under a rock? You mean to tell me a motherfucker who trains to run every day and not only that is a silver medalist. In the 60 meters. Ran 6'4 in the 60. Couldn't separate. From a motherfucker who be on YouTube. And don't run. Like y'all trying to make it seem like I'm crazy. For saying that Noah should have gas bro in 50 meters. He should have. He should have gas bro the first 10 meters. Everybody saying oh it's just 50 meters. It shouldn't be that big of a gap. Well you go line your clown ass up. Next to Christian Coleman. And run 30 meters. And watch how gaps you are the first step. Let's stop being ridiculous, guys. Now, I know bro may not be on drugs right now, and it's the off-season and things of that nature, but you should still be able to beat a motherfucker convincingly. Like, I be doing block starts sometimes to 20 meters, and it be noticeable gaps against people who actually run. So a motherfucker who don't run versus an Olympic gold medalist in 100? What the fuck are we talking about? Bro, y'all really trying to make it seem like I'm tripping. No, this isn't satire. I said that Noah Lyles should have had a noticeable gap when racing speed for 50 meters. 50 meters is long as fuck. Now I can see if we were talking, oh, 10 meters, okay, the gap might not be too big. But 50 meters for a motherfucker who don't run, there should be a huge gap. I was telling people, because there was a lot of people in the comments saying, oh, it's only 50 meters. Like, he not going to have no big gap, blah, blah, blah. And I said, line up to Christian Coleman and watch the gap that he puts on your ass the first step. Like Christian Coleman makes elite runners look like they're running in place at the beginning of the race. And he ran 6'3 in the 60. So a guy who has ran 6'4 in the 60 racing a YouTuber, I would pretty much expect him the first at least five meters to have a noticeable lead. And then at 20 meters, let me show you this picture. This is Christian Coleman at 20 meters. There's a noticeable gap between whoever the fuck this is and the Connie Sambini, and he's a 9-8 runner. Noticeable gap, 20 meters. So just imagine if there was a YouTuber lined up next to Christian Coleman, his ass would have looked like he was glued to the start line. Let's look at the video. So, no, this is not satire. Speed was too close, and that's why he feel like he's going to win the next Olympics. No allows have embarrassed track and field once again. Why are track people always so fucking desperate for attention? Every time somebody does some clown ass shit and it gets people looking at track for always all the wrong reasons. Track people main go to, oh, oh it gives um more exposure to track and it gets more eyes on the sport. Let me tell you something that I've learned about life. When people don't give a fuck about something, they just simply don't give a fuck. There's no making them care. 
And track is one of those things that people just don't give a fuck about. And for some reason, track people are always trying to garner the attention of people who don't care about them. Now, there's thousands of track fans. Why not just cater to the people who care? Track will never be big as soccer. It will never be big as American football. It will never be big as basketball, golf, tennis, none of that shit. So stop trying to make it that. Just accept it for what it is. If you cater to the people who are actually supporting it, more revenue could be generated. But spending hella money trying to market and garner the attention of people outside who just simply don't care, you will forever be fighting for attention. World champion of what? World champion of what? I can chop a world lead, I don't even like running You gotta run fast just to go and get some money I'm no Elias K, you know how I'm coming I ain't going to no Olympics, I ain't running I ain't jumping, I can make a hundred thousand At the crib being funny